Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was The Viper Room. All the questions we're answering today came from you guys via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page, our BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page, as well as directly on the video on Bun. Bun. Good to be back. I'll tell you, Reed did a phenomenal job guest hosting last week. She was great. I messaged she was great. her after the episode went up. I was like, hey, great job, you nailed it. And she was like, thanks, uh, sorry you couldn't be there. And then she was like, looks like all the audience wants me to replace you, so I guess you should quit. <laughs> it's true. I was like, fair play, <laughs> you got me. I gotta say, uh, I miss her already and I, I don't agree with her. I don't think you should, I don't think she should, uh, I don't think she should replace you. Oh, oh, thanks. What? Oh, well, you were in London. Speaking of I which, was in London. That's a good segue. Oh, foggy? Rainy? Um, hard to get a coffee there. I saw Wes Anderson. Was he being quirky? He was dressed in head to toe, quarter, was, corduroy suit. Was he? <laughs> so, any doubts that I had, I was like, oh no, that's, that's him. him. Uh, it was a delight and uh, I'm glad to be back here with my good friend, Ryan Vergara. All right, easy. You're selling it too. How? Let's get into some questions though, because what a juicy week. We went to Viper we, Room. We went to the Viper Room, yeah. A little snake. That was a cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. You and you spit okay. in my face, dude. Yeah. That was fun. Just like a snake, baby. Here's the thing we shot the Viper Room starting, I think, at 3 or 4 a.m. because we had to go in there after the bar was not operating. It was the latest um, shoot we've ever had. So it was kind of insane how late we started that. So people, I saw a lot of people out there saying that we had weird energy. We, we weren't awake. We were conscious. You fell asleep in this episode in the middle of the investigation. Did I, legit, I think I just was resting my eyes, as all moms say when you catch them sleeping. I was yeah. just resting my eyes. We should move to some questions. Let's here. do it. Yeah. All right, let's go to YouTube. Morgan Duval says, I really hope Shane never wears those gloves again. Oh, I would love to hear the story behind this. Shane, why don't you tell the people why you had gloves on? I was running and I picked a new route. I thought, let's change it up a little. Nice change of scenery, yeah, right? Yeah. And you know, LA, the uh, streets are sometimes craggly. So I thought, well, I better hit this new route in the daytime because I'm a night runner. You know, I put a big uh, flashlight on my head. I wear my... I love the hot dog a shirt. Just nerd, run through yes. LA. You're a nerd. We get it. Cool. And uh, so I was like, it's gonna be pretty perilous. I want to make sure I hit this in the daytime so that I could see all the terrain, so I don't trip and fall. So I did it during the daytime, and uh, I tripped and I fell. It was when I was going pretty fast, and my body. I tried to take a few lumbering steps to catch up with my center. There were people directly in front of me, staring at me, and I I fell a few times and then went completely <laughs> horizontal. And I skidded across the ground like a plane with no landing gear. And my hands uh, just ripped to shreds. You also forgot the part where this happened in front of a giant crowd it of people waiting to go into a concert. It happened in front of the Greek theater and there were people everywhere. They are probably going to see Chumbawamba or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but I, my hands are mostly healed now, but they're still kind of red. There's like scar tissue. You but... do have scabs all over your, your calves and, yes. and shins so too. It's been a fun summer of blood and that's why I wore the gloves. Uh, this comes from Facebook. This comes from Sh uh, Jeryu Talange. Hashtag postmortem. Isn't it a little eerie that the spirit box said Anthony when Ryan was sitting in the storage crawl space? I mean, spirit box picking up the exact name in the prime spot seems like good evidence. Uh, also, if they were tipped off about a body being buried, why did they not dug the dirt space up to look for it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, got, I'm not gonna lie, that Anthony is Pretty damn clear. I didn't, I don't remember it. Of course you don't. I tend to skip over that evidence in the episodes. You're in the episode, you are you were there. You're acting as if you not were- Not in the crawl space. Anybody buried in here that's not supposed to be in here? What? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> stupid. A lot of times I skip through the uh, the spear box stuff just because one, I find it insufferable, mm, and two, mm, mm, um, mm, mm, I get angry. Because people are always like, it's so clear. That was pretty clear. That's definitely Anthony, and then it's not. It isn't. I think the Anthony is pretty damn clear. I don't. I, I think do. it's three I, different sounds that sound like it could be Anthony, Anthony. or anything else. Like what? Um, Hambony. 
Hamboni. Yeah. Zamboni. Well, let's see, Oxen Free Alf. This was on Instagram. He said, holy shit, I feel like you guys got some pretty good spirit box responses this episode. As a reader, shout out to the readers. Mm. Uh, Shane, what do you think about the spirit box responses even though you call them horseshit anyway? I think they're horseshit anyway. Going back to the point I was trying to make before, sometimes when we get spirit box responses, we don't respond to it in the moment. Like it'll say, like in this episode, it said, help me, help me, help me. I said in the episode, I thought that said, hi, how you doing? Cause I can't understand it in the moment. When we're there, it makes sense in the context of that situation of being there. However, when we put it into the episode later, we'll get this thing that, <laughs> we'll get this thing where I sat and listened to the responses on loop on my headphones. And I, and I think, oh, that said, help me, help me, help me. And then we put it into the episode and we don't have the response from us live on set because I didn't hear it in that moment. So how it ends up going is help me, help me, help me. And me going, huh? Huh? <laughs> or that's true. Yeah. I don't really hear anything. So it makes it seem like we don't care that a ghost just said help me to me. Obviously, if I heard that in the moment, I would go, why do you need help? You know, that's basic human 101. Boy, do I have a great dad dunk here. Are you ready for yeah, it? Let's get a good yeah, dad dunk. From, you know, a lot of times at meet and greets and such, we'll get some fun, I don't know what <laughs> We'll get some funny, uh, you know, some funny dads. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh, my kids made me want you, and now I kind of like it. Love the work you do, cool boys. And then boys. they it's shake a, our hand with the power of a vice. Of a Sasquatch. <laughs> um, Every dad's hand is a vice grip. It's insane. Always tickles me. I think it's very funny, but yeah. from Brooklyn C. Medina, uh, she says, for postmortem, I'm ashamed to say when I told my dad about the new episode, he said, quote, thanks, I already watched it. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Brooklyn. Your dad's cooler than you. And it's also a, a, a very ambiguous answer. Did he enjoy it? I don't know. No, but dad, he watched dads it. are there to give you the bare minimum info. They're there to Already give you the facts. <laughs> There's nothing subjective about it. It's just, here's the most objective answer I could possibly give you. I watched it. The rest is for you to decipher. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite texts from my dad of all time. This is how I knew he wanted to see the motion picture Looper. He texted me. <laughs> when the trailer came out, he texted me, Looper. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to YouTube. What are you doing? I'm listening, Ryan. I'm being an active listener. Well, it looked like you were doing glamour photos. No, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. Jess says, is Shane okay this episode? It really seems like he's having a midlife crisis. This was also, I didn't get to address it last week, but at Yorktown, you know, people were like, is he all right? He seems like he's having oh, a break. Like he's over it. Yeah, no, it was fun. We were on a ship. I, it was a big, wonderful ship. It was fun. Who gets to ghost hunt on a big, wonderful ship? We do. We do! I have a very good time ghost hunting with my good friend, Ryan Bergara. Occasionally, you try to uh, amuse yourself when you're in a dark room and you're babbling for 10 minutes. You run out of things to say, so your mind goes to strange places. That is true. You know. As an exercise, pause this video right now. Pause it right, pause well, it right. No, pause it after he's done saying this Yeah, thing. yeah, no, yeah. Pause it after I'm done saying what I'm about to do and then Pause Otherwise, they'll never, do, yeah. yeah, yeah you, you, I get what you're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you gotta do is you got to talk to nobody in your room in Shane's mind. Yeah, for Me, 10 I'm, minutes. I'm talking to a ghost, even if it, you are talking to a ghost, and try and have an active conversation for 10 to 15 minutes and see how your energy starts to get. Actually, you know what? Film yourself doing it, post it online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to see other people attempt to do this. Turn the lights off. And the goal here is to come off a Same. normal human being. It's impossible. <laughs> is it roast mortem time? It's time oh, for roast wait, mortem, what? baby! <laughs> Go! Oh, shit! Roast mortem time! Ryan, take it away! Roast mortem, here we go! We're going to Instagram. This comes from Mothman Barbie. You both kind of dance like awkward drunk high schoolers who snuck into their meathead college friend's frat party. That sounds kind of like a compliment, because if you aren't dancing like an awkward drunk high schooler, then you can go to hell! And I'd rather dance like that than a meathead. Yeah! You like those moves? Do you like those moves? Do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> now we're going over to uh, YouTube, why does Shane look like he should be asking, please sir, can I have uh, some more? I believe that's pronounced, please sir. Can please sir, can I have some more? What? Hashtag roast boredom. I already explained my hands <laughs> were scabs. Wait, that. I was doing the child voice, but also know, with but the also roast boredom growl. I'm just imagining you. Please sir, can I have some more? No, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> 
This comes from Mothman's boyfriend. Maybe the thing that's haunting Ryan is whatever the hell died on Shane's head. Hashtag. It's called style. Look it up, dipshit. <laughs> that's style? Yeah. And to close us out, boy, have I got a doozy. This is from Instagram. Probably possessed at hashtag gross mortem. Shane's hair looks like a feral possum and Jim Halpert abandoned their love child in an empty Chili's dumpster. And Ryan's hat makes him look like an emo Papa Smurf. Love you guys, but this is why I'm a shit fish, reader. Because I don't want to choose between you two cheese sticks. I love cheese sticks. Cheese sticks are delicious. <laughs> Well, that's for oh, roast Jesus mortem! Christ! Thanks for your roast. They were very They're good. They were good. That was, that was a, a fun, fun roast mortem. That was yeah. good stuff. Uh, what's coming up this week on BuzzFeed Unsolved? Supernatural, season six, episode five? Yeah, this episode's really good. We do another house call, just like the Hannah Williams episode. We try and, uh, uh, to recapture that magic, and it's a, it's a fun one. It's a house call. Got a different vibe than some of their episodes, but I think you're all gonna enjoy it. It's very much in keeping with the um, vibe of lunacy that's been carrying It is good, season. yeah. Uh, anyways, that does it for this episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. Make sure you watch the episode this Friday, then send in your questions to the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook, Facebook page, the Instagram page, page, or comment directly on the video on Bun, and we'll maybe you you'll be the in the next episode of I'm BuzzFeed buttons. Unsolved. Post more. You really like doing that, huh? The, the, let's see you at the movies. What? I, I thought I said what you what? said. What? You, what? I don't know what you're talking about. That's our sign off. All right. Woo! See you guys next week.